of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. Just want to discuss the uh, breaking news, the reveals from earlier today um, about the Clone Wars figures, the four Target exclusive in the US. Um, Clone Wars figures based on the packaging from 2008 when the Clone Wars originally kicked off with the Clone Trooper helmet shaped uh, card back, nice big bubble on the front, absolutely awesome stuff, really really takes me back. So we're starting off with four figures, and I thought we'd just talk about each one as we go here. So we're going to kick off with Obi-Wan. Um, now these are a part of the Lucasfilm 50th anniversary. So they do have the little uh, sort of gold 50th anniversary logo down the bottom. But uh, that's pretty cool. And I like that they've used an animated image based on those original packagings from back in 2008 as well. So starting off, we're going to get Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Kenobi, in his sort of half clone armor. We recently did get the, uh, the General Kenobi based on his appearance in the Gendi Tartakovsky series. But this time we're going into the Filoni-verse, and this is just awesome. So I will quick up, quickly flash up an image now of the original Obi-Wan Kenobi that came out in this packaging. <clears throat> so again... 13 years later, we're getting 6-inch versions, super articulated, awesome-looking, realistic-styled figures. Um, and starting off with Obi-Wan Kenobi, and uh, I was reading the StarWars.com interview with the uh, Hasbro designer, Eric, I believe his name is, and they jokingly asked why he doesn't come with a teacup. Because <laughs> um, if you remember his first appearance in the Clone Wars movie, he uh, sits Wormloathsome down to have a cup of tea while he's uh, awaiting Anakin to drop the shields. So we'll go to a loose boxed image here. It looks pretty awesome, nice articulation. I do think the armor that sort of sits over his shoulders is probably a little bit wide. Um, from memory, it just it might be okay. It might just be the angle. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait and see. Um, but it looks good. It looks fine. I'm really, really stoked with this figure. It looks like he has the new. Um, new sort of arms from the new clones that new sort of sculpt they're using the pinless and obviously the legs are going to be slightly different as well um on the top half because the uh thighs don't have armor on them they're just the sort of black underpants stockings sort of thing i guess so the Jedi logo on the shoulder there is looking absolutely awesome, nice and crisp. I'm glad they're putting this Obi-Wan head sculpt back into use. It appears to be the same one that came on that General Kenobi one from a year or two ago. Um, so glad that's getting some use. And hopefully an updated Reve Return of the Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi is only around the corner. So next one revealed is Clone Pilot Hawk. Now this guy's looking pretty cool, a nice sort of helmet design. This figure has never been done before. We've had some sort of similar looking troopers before, um, but not in realistic style. There may have been one in the Clone Wars uh, animated style that came with a little dropship or something. I can't remember. I'd have to relook at this one. But uh, yeah, Clone Pilot Hawk is a new one. Um, I was reading in the interview that they basically had to hum and har over the shape of the helmet and stuff like that just because it could break up the aesthetic look of the figure if they did it did it wrong. Um, and looking at it, it looks like they may be using the old clone sculpt for this figure. So he will have uh, the pins in the legs um and probably in the arms too it's kind of looking like that from the uh, loose image here you can sort of just see where those elbow pins are but that works out well because it fits in with uh captain rex and the 501st trooper we already have so they all sort of look similar but he's looking good i like the look of the helmet so next one is anakin skywalker now we'll just get a quick look at the original image of the original figure that they've, uh, this one is inspired from. And this is one of the very first Clone Wars figures I ever got. I thought it was just really, really cool back then. 2008 or 2009, I think I picked it up. I can't remember. It was probably 08, but it could have been 09. Anyway, that doesn't matter. 
So Hasbro's basically gone back to the drawing board with this uh, Anakin head sculpt. They've completely done a brand new portrait, um, just to sort of really update the look. And hopefully it means if the head's right, they can just change the hair later on and give us an updated version of Revenge of the Sith Anakin. But uh, I absolutely love this uniform that he's wearing, the sort of maroons and the uh, sort of deep gunmetal grey blues, the shoulder armour. Um, yeah, it just looks awesome. Really looking forward to this figure. And yeah, it's, it's these are must-haves. These undeniably should be in the line. The first loose image here. It's looking pretty damn good. Really nicely done, Hasbro. Another loose image here. All posed up, holding the lightsaber. Looks good too. He's got, sort of got the soft goods underneath. And the interesting pose here, he's sort of got the uh, the tabard of his tunic sort of on the side of him here. They just haven't twisted that around with the, uh, with the torso there, but that's okay. That's... That's them. And last but not least is Arc Trooper Echo. Now this is a figure that opens up a lot of doors going forward. Uh, it looks to be the new Clone Trooper sculpt um, with a brand new head sculpt for Echo. Um, no doubt we'll see a version of Echo come out in the Bad Batch style, but it's nice for them to sort of throw back to the Clone Wars. And the image on the packaging here is, of course, new because uh, they didn't release him in an animated style, at least as an ARC Trooper. So he was only released as an ARC Trooper recently in the Vintage Collection. So this is really, really cool. This opens up a hell of a lot of doors for future ARC Troopers. Um, Mr. 5597 would be nice. CT5597. You know who I'm talking about. I need that figure ASAP. But I dare say we'll be getting fives very soon as well. You gotta have Echo and Fives together. You can't separate them. But yeah, he's looking absolutely fantastic. All the uh extra little armor pieces, pouches, pauldrons. It looks awesome. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really looking forward to this one. So done as this great service i really hope there's a retailer down here in australia that's going to pick these up otherwise i'm going to be paying ebay scalper prices just to get them and i don't care because i want them i love the packaging i'm as you know if you know me if you follow my channel for a long time you know i'm an absolute diehard clone wars fan so this is just a class hasbro well done kudos i can't wait to have these figures in hand uh as far as i know there's no release date slated it will be 2021 i'm sure a matter of when we'll just have to wait and find out over the coming uh weeks and months for news on that so just wanted to go over that so thanks for tuning in guys let me know in the comments what you think below if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and give the video a big thumbs up that would be so good and i will be your friend forever but until my next video may the force be with you always